Chap. 4 of the arm reangent, or weapon salve, and C. The principal ingredient in this confection, is the moss of a dead man's skull, which Van Helmont calls the excrescences or superfluities of the stars. Now the moss growing on the skull of a dead man, seeing it has received its seed from the heavens, but its increase from the mummial marrow of the skull of man, or tower of the microcosm, has obtained excellent astral and magnetic powers beyond the common condition of vegetables, although herbs, as they are herbs, want not their own magnetism. Now, the magnetism of this ungent draws out that strange disposition from the wound, which otherwise, by a disunion of the parts that held together, and by which, I say, strange disposition and foreign quality is produced, from whence it slips, not being overburdened or oppressed by any accident, suddenly grow together, and this is effected by the armory ungent, or weapon salve. From this it appears that the ungent, or weapon salve, its property is to heal suddenly and perfectly without pain, costs, peril, or loss of strength, hence it is manifest that the magnetical virtue is from God. It is now seasonable to discover the immediate cause of magnetism in the ungent. First of all, by the consent of mystical divines, we divide man into the external and internal man, assigning to both the powers of a certain mind, or intelligence, for so the dartha will belong to flesh and blood, which may not be either the will of man or the will of God, and the heavenly Father also reveals some things unto the more inward man, and some things flesh and blood reveals, that is, the outward and sensitive, or animal man. For, how could the service of idols, envy, and see, be rightly numbered among the works of the flesh, seeing they consist only in the imagination, if the flesh had not also its own imagination and elective will. Furthermore, that there are miraculous ecstasies belonging to the more inward man, is beyond dispute. That there are also ecstasies in the animal man, by reason of an intense, or high tend imagination, is, without doubt. Martin Del Riss, an elder of the Society of Jesus, in his magical disquisitions or inquiries, makes mention of a certain young man in the city in Salis that was transported with so violent a desire of seeing his mother, that through the same intense desire, as if being wrapped up by an ecstasy, he saw her perfectly, although many miles absent from thence, and, returning again to himself, being mindful of all that he had seen, gave many true signs of his true presence with his mother. Now that desire arose from the more outward man, viz. from blood and sense, or flesh, is certain, for, otherwise, the soul being once dislodged, or loosened from the bonds of the body, cannot, except by miracle, be reunited to it, there is therefore in the blood a certain ecstatical or transporting power, which, if at any time shall be excited or stirred up by an ardent desire and a most strong imagination, it is able to conduct the spirit of the more outward man even to some absent and far distant object, but then that power lies hid in the more outward man, as it were, in potentia, or by way of possibility, neither is it brought into act, unless it be roused up by the imagination, inflamed and agitated by a most fervent and violent desire.